Hi everyone, this is Jem from the Wine and Spirits Association of All Japan. And I'm with my friend. Hi, I'm Ayu. Ayu, where are we standing in front of today? I'm standing in front of Sake Brewery. Kawashima Shuzo. <laughs> yes, we are at Shiga Prefecture in the east of Kyoto. Shiga is host to Japan's largest lake, Lake Biwa. And in the lakeside of Biwa, you can find this historic brewery that makes Japan's national beverage, sake. Kawashima Brewery was founded back in 1865 with its ownership passing down to generations. We will soon meet and talk with the current owner, Tatsuro Kawashima. Now, at this point, you might be asking, what is sake even? Well, if you're completely new to the fascinating world of sake, don't worry because we've got you covered. Just click on this link and read our article titled, what is sake? And you'll know all the basics of this magical drink. Now, let's meet Kawashima-san. Let's do it. Hey. <laughs> あの、弊社はですね、1850年余り今日まであの歴史を刻んでおりますね。で、川島酒造の 茶葉 is known to have been around for more than 2000 years in one form or other, basically since rice cultivation began in Japan. That brings us to the first thing you should know about sake. It is brewed from rice and rice alone. No other grains are used. The first process in the production of sake is the polishing of rice. Rice grains are milled of their outer layers that contain protein and lipids until mostly the starchy center of the rice grain remains. Now, uh, one of the most important sake rice varieties is the Yamada Nishiki, which is also used in some of the sake of uh, Kawashima Shuzo. What is interesting is here, uh, you see a Yamada Nishiki rice uh, that is not milled. All these rice grains are in their natural form with, before the milling. Now, as you know, milling is the first process of making sake and perhaps the most crucial. And this is the reason here you see a Yamada Nishiki uh, milled down to 35%. This is a very high quality of it's, it's made for Daiginjo variety of sake. It's milled a lot. As you see, from the original rice grain, only a very white, small, round center is left. This center is full of starch. All the protein and fat that is on the outer layer of the rice grain is gone in the milling process, and we are left with the starchy white center, and this makes a very refined, uh, excellent sake. この玉坂井っていうのは私に言わせれば、もう山田錦が一応最高峰って言われておりますけども、山田錦に匹敵する線流樹が非常に高いんですね。お米の中の澱粉質、病質な澱粉がしっかりと凝固されている。Another key ingredient in sake is water. In fact, sake in its completed form is almost 80% pure water, so the quality of the water significantly affects the quality of the final product. Kawashima Brewery takes pride in their pristine underflow water coming from the Hira Mountains, which you can taste inside the brewery. もう、これがまさに日本人に命を与えている
、うん、甘い<笑>あそうそう,そうあの癖がなくて非常にまろやかな水だと思います、うんうんうんうん、だからやはりあの日本酒は水がだいぶもう占める中でね、うん、やっぱ水の持ち味がそれもなさずお酒の、うんうんあの特徴に連結してますよ。Here, in, koji. Koji rice, in the koji 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 the 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 koji koji the 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 So、we are now at one of the most important rooms in the whole brewery. This is the Koji room. Now, of course, there is nothing here since it's summer, not brewing season. But in winter, this room is full of rice、uh, that is being made into Koji, and the Koji spores are、uh, put into the rice、uh, uniformly, and then the rice is lumped up together. And left into being koji. Now, as you see, there is a huge thermometer here with all kinds of、uh, control buttons. This device is all to ensure that the temperature of the koji room is set into an optimal condition because the、uh, koji is very, very sensitive to warmth. Koji is ready after two days, and now fermentation can begin. The first step to fermentation is creating what is called the yeast starter in a small tank. This is a mixture of water, koji, rice, and yeast. It takes around two weeks to create the desired concentration of yeast cells. This mixture is then transferred to a larger tank where the same mixture is added in larger quantities three separate times to keep the chemical balances. <laughs> 開放タンクで,、ね、で弊社は全部あの今の仕込み規模はだいたい白米の送料が1仕込みで600から1000キロぐらいの非常に少量仕込みですねであのー、半自前でやっておりますけどもすべてが開放タンクで仕込んでおります。大手はやはり密閉タンクになると思いますね。もっと白米送料が2トンとか3トンとかっていう規模になると思うんですね。まさに先ほど来申し上げるようにね、えー、まあ我が子、ね、子育てそのもの、慈しみながらね、そして丹念に丹念に、あのー、この、まあ、公募と会話を交わしながらね、そして手を加えていく。ね、時には、あのー、マットで保温してやるあるいはあまり過保護になりすぎると風邪にあの熱をあの汗を出して、えー、風邪をひきますからまたマットを1枚脱がす2枚脱がしてね。川島ブルーリーズプロダクトラインは e x t e n s i v e as can be seen from the shop inside it。Here a range of Muroka Nama Genshu products stand out denoting unfiltered unpasteurized And undiluted sake in its most natural form, this has become a popular variety lately, and Kawashima san surely caught up with the trend. ヒートしてないだけあって非常にまあ若干か弱い部分もあるんですがその分非常にフレッシュな感覚でしかもあの化粧何ら施していませんからもういわゆるその素顔の美人というかねやはり日本の文化をワンパッケージにして丸ごとお酒とともども一緒に海外に売り込みでいこう。As we watch Kawashima san talk passionately about his sake and chat with local customers who come to the brewery shop, the local character of this brewery is highlighted. In Japan, craft sake from local producers are called jizake. While the term has no legal definition, Kawashima brewery's sake can certainly be called jizake as they are crafted with utmost care and dedication. 
gaining the appreciation of locals. However, at the age of 71, Kawashima-san is still brimming with the ambition to introduce the wonders of sake to more people. Kawashima Brewery is one of the rare local breweries that sell their products abroad too. So how do these sake taste like? Subscribe to our channel and find out in our next video when we taste two different sake from Kawashima Brewery that is currently sold abroad. Looking forward to seeing you soon in our next video and until then, please enjoy some sake.